Hey loves, I don't know if you could see out the windows or the sunroof around and above me that it is pouring out. And I'm wearing sunglasses only because I'm still sick with the flu and I don't wanna show you my sick eyes. So I'm sure that this car that's pulling up right on my right right now is gonna laugh at me, but I don't, I D-G-A-F, okay? Anyway, so um, we had such success with Vlogmas that I kinda wanted to do this as a vlog. This is a video that I've had in my heart to do for a while um and i thought about it as i was driving to go pick up the stuff that i needed for the video i was like oh i might as well vlog some of it so today's we're, today's topic we're going to talk about is making a vision board a dream board a mood board i've heard them referred to as so many different things for this year now let me give you a background story first of all a vision board a dream board a mood board is just basically um images of what you want to bring into your life in the upcoming year it's discussed a lot in the movie the secret it's discussed a lot in um the theory of the law of attraction which means like you, what you put out there you attract back into your life now a couple of videos videos ago in my vlogmas series I, I think it was in the lost footage I was talking about and the video is literally called um, something prison wife lost footage prison wife vlogmas lost footage something like that and I was talking about how uh, it's been a little bit up and down for me at the end of this year and although I've always believed in that kind of stuff for probably the past six months or so I've just been like I don't know, maybe it's hocus pocus, maybe it's hokey, maybe I'm just in a little bit of a funk and a depressive season of my life right now with my mom being so ill and things not happening with Adam so quickly. So I um, kind of am questioning a lot of stuff. So, and in that video I said one of my girlfriends had um, suggested listening to a couple of books. I don't want to review, the, review them yet because I literally listened to maybe 30 seconds of one book and then got a couple of phone calls last time I was driving out to visit. So I didn't really listen and I don't have any kind of feedback for you yet. But if they're good, if I feel like they resonate with me, I will definitely, I'm sure they're good because she's, every book she's ever suggested, every book she's ever suggested has been good. So anyway, um, the reason I'm telling you all that background is because normally in the past I'd be like, yes, it works. This is what you have to do, blah, blah, blah. This year it's more, let's trial and error this. Let's do it with me. This is where I'm starting. This is how I feel. So let's do a check-in in a few months or maybe at the end of the year and we'll see what I've attained from this. We'll see what comes out of this. We'll see what doesn't work, what does work, what's changed, what do hasn't changed. So I guess this is kind of a baseline like, okay, universe, okay, spirituality and all that stuff, put your money where your mouth is. And I don't, like, I'm joking. I'm very sarcastic sometimes, you guys, and sometimes people don't realize that. And they think that I'm a weirdo, which I am a weirdo, but they think like, okay, weirdo, whatever. Anyway, still kind of low energy, you guys, by the way, is we'll go through um, what I'm using to make the vision board, dream board, mood board, whatever you want to call it. Um, what I'm personally putting on mine for 2019 and then um, we could talk through it like why why you would want to make one where I'm hanging it the, the like mental state behind it what it kind of means and how I'm doing it this year versus years in the past where I was all like gung-ho uh, law of attraction slash universe and this year how I'm kind of in the midst of uh, kind of questioning things so um it'll be a fun one to follow so i'll be back i have to run into the vitamin shop and then i'm going to go into there's a walmart and a target down the street i think i'm gonna hit both of them and if neither of those have everything i want like a few miles up the road there is a dollar store and a michael's in the same shopping center so i might hit those but i'm hoping i can get everything at walmart and target because i again have a major headache and i do not feel well so it's time for me to go lay down after this so i'll be back in a couple minutes bye guys Okay, so it's a couple hours after I made that video from the vitamin shop and actually I was going to come in from my car after I got this stuff in each place where I was, but like I said, I'm fighting the flu bug and I was in there and all of a sudden I was like, mm, I gotta get out of here. So I was going to go to Walmart, but uh, while I was in Target, I was going through that like that front section that everything's like underneath the $5, a dollar, $5. And they had these boards there. So I've done this differently every year. So you could get simple poster board, like, you know, kids, when they have school projects, you could use that. It's like a dollar, you can get it. 
um, CVS, Walgreens, the dollar store. You can get literally just computer paper or notebook paper. I've done this for years, years ago where I would just do that and I would draw out and write out what I wanted with just a simple pen and put that in my wallet and that would be my vision board or my dream board for the year. Um, you could do it with um, a regular frame where you put in stuff and then you frame it. Um, but since I saw this, they had magnetic ones, which would have been really cool if I bought magnets. Um, but I wasn't, I was just like, that's the one, got it, gotta go, because I was not feeling well. So this is, um, it's, you can, it's a cork board. So I got that and then I got, this was $5 in Target and then I got push pins. They were, I don't know, three or four dollars. These are the ones that are for maps. But it's, I probably could have done it for a lot less money. I just needed to get the heck out of the store and that's, it is what it is at that point because I was not feeling well. So I'm gonna take these and what I'm gonna do is you could, you could do it a couple of different ways. You could do it, you could use old magazines, you can cut out letters, you can write on it, you can draw things, you can go online and you can search Google Images or Pinterest for things that you want to manifest and bring into your life throughout the year coming up. So the reason that this is effective, you guys, I should probably have explained this earlier, but it's that the things that you see and you put in the forefront of your mind every day, your mind is always looking for questions and seeking answers. And I've talked about this in plenty of other videos, but looking for questions or it's asking a question and seeking an answer, right? So if you put that in the forefront of your mind, like I'm gonna put this um, probably on the wall in front of my bed where I already have two pictures that are um, kind of like vision pictures anyway. Let me show you, sorry about this crazy setup. You could see the lighting, but you see there's that, um, the one with the people at the train station and the one that is um, the, the people at dancing at their wedding. And those are put up there for a very specific reason because the train station one is a homecoming and the wedding one is, the dance is a wedding. And those both pictures, by the way, are by an artist named Jack Ven Vetriano. I love his paintings, but um, uh, those are vision pictures, right? So I put those up there because I want to attract a homecoming into my life and I want to attract a wedding into my life. So I look at those every morning when I wake up and subconsciously, even though, or anytime in my room, like I'm staring at them right now, they're in front of my bed. I actually want to change the frames on those pictures though. I don't really love them anymore. Anyway, um, so I will probably figure out a way to put my vision board um, make that kind of on the prettier so it can be hung on the wall and put that somewhere near them. So I am looking at that every day and in my subconscious, I am seeking that reward all day long. I'm trying to find those things. So like I said in my video earlier, I've been having kind of struggles with the whole spirituality, love attraction type of thing. So this is kind of a an experiment this is a baseline and it's an experiment for all of us to do together. So I will come back eventually and I will um, see what I manifested and see if this worked and see if it was kind of bogus or hocus pocus or whatever. So, but the, the trick of it is too, you guys, you have to put it up there and then work towards it. You can't just put it up there and be like, okay, now it's up there. So that's it. It's going to happen. Like if I want to manifest, let's just say I have hundred thousand dollar salary on here I can't just put it up there and then stay at my you know minimum salary job every day not look for a new one not go after um anything else like like according to this opportunities will present themselves but you need to go after them otherwise it's just not going to work so uh I'm going to put some footage together of what I find for the board. I don't really know what I want on there yet. Um, I have a couple of things in mind and then I will show you what I put on there and then we'll go through an exercise and it'll be fun. And then you guys could do your own and you could post in the comments what you put on your boards. If you're doing them, if you believe in them, if you don't believe in them, um, if you're doing them, what you're putting on there and we could all manifest. <laughs>
All right, guys, I just finished putting together my vision board, and it's really funny. Last night I had my makeup done, and I had a cute outfit on, and um, it just didn't work out to do the vision board. So this is first thing in the morning. Um, I got up, made breakfast, hung out for a little while. It's actually not first thing in the morning. It's probably close to noon, but it's been a slow day. I'm still recovering from the flu. I thought I wasn't going to have to take any medicine. I actually had to pause this video, go take some Theraflu, and then continue. So I actually had fun doing this one with the push pins and the cork board. However, I ran out of room. So things printed kind of big. I screenshotted them on my phone and then I cropped them and then I sent them to my email and printed them off of my printer. So they printed on the bigger side. I can't decide if I'm just going to go get a second board and um, fix it or if I'm going to leave it smaller and just uh, kind of reorganize everything. Um, a couple of things. I started running out of ink while I was printing. So things came out kind of like fuzzy and blurry so you can't really tell what they are so I might reprint those I might get another board I might print things smaller we'll see but for sake of this video I wanted to show you what I have so far things are like falling off you see but um I couldn't find any room this is one of the last things as I cut you'll see the footage I'll speed through when I was cutting but let's just go over what's on my vision board for the year things that still need to be added and how I'm going to fix this or if I'm just going to kind of go off of this and make it kind of fun and uh, just prop this up against something. But I couldn't find any place for a girl boss and I tried to fit it in over here and then I figured this will be the year of the girl boss. This will be the year that I've been talking with my team and we're really trying to take SPWF to the next level. Um, we're really trying to get like a headquarters. We're really trying to get funding. We're really trying to get as many programs and everything that we can to offer to you guys because it's time to take SPWF to the next level and make it a job and not a hobby. So starting with the year of the girl boss. And then underneath there, kind of along the same lines, is I'd like to hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Um, I'm uh, just under two. We just brought it back in July. So I don't see why we will have a problem hitting 10 in 12 months. Um, and then I have a book that I have written it's just yet to be published so I have this little reminder up here publish me publish me and it actually was in a book but I had to cut it out of there and just put the words up there because um I was running out of room and then along with the book I have a course that I have designed well I have a course in mind that just needs to be outlined and actually designed and done kind of goes hand in hand that I want to offer to our SPWF community and members so this kind of is my little like girl boss area up here and what I want to continue to do with SPWF and then moving down um, I have just a huge health, which encompasses going back to the gym, um, making sure that I'm not eating processed fact that I've been kind of, I've kind of fallen off the wagon a little bit with all of my health and wellness stuff. Like you saw with my red light therapy, that's the first time I've done that in probably a year. Um, and just in health, I have it all encompassing. Like I want to make sure that I'm getting up in the morning and doing the right thing instead of getting up in the morning and posting videos and checking the phone, etc. So all encompassing health and wellness for me here and then as a reminder um, me personified this was when I used to do fitness modeling and um, although I don't necessarily need that physique I want to look like the epitome of health again I want to drop some body fat um, so that's just my reminder that I want to stay on my healthy track so I can feel and look and be the most healthy and confident that I could possibly be. Speaking of confidence, I have that reminder over there. That was a big one that said inhale confidence, exhale doubt. I had to cut it apart because it didn't fit. But you know, if I shrink this up, I might be able to get that whole quote on there. Not necessarily true. I just figured this was the most important word. Right here, it says life was meant to be a great adventure and close friends. Um, and then a whole bunch of girlfriends. So again, we had, so, I guess you can't really see that. We had a blast in Dallas this past October at the Prisoner Family Conference. And we decided that that is also our Strong Prison Wives and Families meetup. And so um, I don't do elaborate vacations or anything like that. I probably won't until Adam comes home. But I do in 2019 and looking forward to and treasuring our SPWF meetup and vacation with my girlfriends. Um, and of course, you're all invited. And then down here, I have a mouth closed zipper and then it says, is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? Keep it shut. So it's just a reminder, you know, when you're working for a community that is 95% women, um, it tends to sometimes get a little bit gossipy and judgmental and sometimes they're 
our, our insecurities that come out in gossip and sometimes we have to deal with people who are not the most mentally stable and healthy people in within our community it's just the people that we serve sometimes so um things can tend to get a little catty i can tend to fall into the gossip plus i have four sisters and a mom so and a whole bunch of nieces i'm around a lot of women and a lot of estrogen and a lot of gossip and bashing and bad mouthing all the time and sometimes I get sucked into that so it's just a reminder not to be judgmental and that's something that I've wanted to work on for a really really long time and I always find myself sucked back in so it's just a reminder if it's not kind if it's not true and if it's not necessary keep your mouth shut zip it um so I thought that was a great one down here this is when my printer started to get a little crappy but I definitely need to add more to this I want to focus on getting my own place to live. You guys know I live with my parents and, you know, depending on what happens in 2019 with my mother's health, I don't want to really get into that, but um, eventually I'm going to need to find my own place. And one thing that I have always dreamed about is um, a place, a, a bedroom with huge open windows that like floor to ceiling that I can look out. I just like open airy spaces. I had actually printed out a picture um, of a kitchen because another thing that I want is a kitchen um like a beautiful open airy kitchen but unfortunately you could see my printer crapped out and so it, i'm just running out of ink on there so i have to redo that but i don't know like i didn't know if i should print places um on the west coast or the east coast because i'm here on the east coast right now i'm adam's on the east coast we're here until uh you know he gets out or something major happens so um i do want to look forward to to moving with him and and i'll get to that in a second you guys will probably see that there's no adam here but we'll get to that in a second so i didn't put where i just kind of put more of the features that i want like the open and airy bedroom like a big open kitchen um with a enough counter space because i love to cook um i love like those fat grain um paned gray washed floors i'm not a big fan of rug so just like features that i want in the house light windowed um versus specifically where it is and um that type of stuff because i don't know so i'm putting as much as out out there as i can about features of it but not necessarily the location um okay and then so that's what i have for the bedroom and then here i have do what you love love what you do because i want to move into uh making my job what i love to do not some place i have to go from nine to five every day to just check off being someplace and then come home and trying to fit in my love and my passion project and what I feel is my purpose in those few hours in between. So uh, I'm just a reminder that kind of goes with the girl boss theme. I want to monetize SBWF. Like I said, I want to make a certain amount of money this year. So that's just a reminder of that. Um, maybe I'll get a little more specific on that. I have to just think about that number. Um, and then in the very middle, I have and I have some open space here to fill some more in. Again, if I don't go get another board or trim this down. But this is my favorite quote in the whole entire world. And it is my own personal um, affirmation to myself. It says, we ask ourselves, who am I to be gorgeous, talented, brilliant, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? So that's by Mary Ellen Williamson. It's just like a, a, an excerpt out of one of my favorite quotes by her. And basically, it's like, you are brilliant, you're gorgeous, you're talented. So don't take that away from yourself. Like a lot of times, I remember being a young girl and wanting to raise my hand in class because I knew the answer. But I was I didn't want people to, to make people feel bad that I knew the answer and they didn't. Or I remember I went up to now, mind you, side note, I cannot sing to save my life. But I didn't know that when I was in second grade and I wanted to audition and I had to go up and sing Jingle Bell Rock. Right. And I went up there on the microphone and I sang it as awfully as I possibly could because I was afraid that I was going to be good. Um, I know that's crazy, but that is what girls often girls do because we hide our bossness we hide our brilliance our gorgeousness our talents and the fact that we are fabulous so i just ask you guys and i ask myself every day who are you not to be all of those things or whatever it is that you you want to be um and the re oh and then down here i think i forgot that one i just just a reminder to slow down and stay zen that actually was a very crisp detailed picture and because the printer started running out of ink it printed kind of um shadowy which i kind of actually love because first of all it wasn't a picture of me but second of all it kind of encompasses a whole like zen thing she's on the beach and there's kind of it's kind of like an energy type of feeling picture so i left that um 
I have one that you can't really see. That was my abs, but they look really washed out in that picture, which kind of makes me hesitant to even put it up there. I miss those abs, but do I really need to focus on that in the future? I don't know. So maybe that was a sign not to even include that on there. This is a photo of me and my sisters where I just felt very healthy. I was doing everything right then. I thought we looked gorgeous, you know, just symbolizes my friendship and my love for specific people in my life. So I don't necessarily know if I'm going to add that on there or um, not, but that one, it's, that one didn't print bad. It's just that I ran out of room. And then this one is, you can't even see what that is. Um, it was just kind of like personifying staying young and, and moving and keeping yourself looking fit and young as you get older, aging gracefully. Um, but I don't even know if I need that one on there anyway, because who, like, who is she? So the reason why you guys are probably thinking like, but wait a minute, where's Adam? Adam has been on my vision, vision board for many years. Adam is on my vision wall in the pictures that I showed you last night with the homecoming picture and with the wedding picture. The reason I was looking and looking and looking for stuff to add in here, and he of course is the focus in the middle of my life, but a lot of goals that I've set in the past, I've set on contingent of he's gonna be home. And I've tried to manipulate the universe and God and my goals and my vision boards and all of that stuff so many times. Like, well, if he's in the middle of my vision board, then he has to come home. And I can't do any of the rest of this stuff if he's not here. And so I remember I had a, a call with a life coach one time and she was like, why can't you do that stuff without him? And it was just kind of a punch in my gut. Like, what do you mean? Because I can't, because I can't start a business without him. And because I can't move to, I think we were going to move to Philly at that time. I can't move to Philly without him because he's part of the plan. But I think it's held me back for so long. And I think that he would be so proud of me for saying this, although he knows, I mean, I could technically, if I wanted to put a picture of him in there, but he knows that he's the center of my world and universe and all of my dreams and aspirations and goals and hopes revolve around him. But I also can't change the system. I'm doing everything that I possibly can to um, get him home and to get him out here and to do these goals with me. But this year I decided that I really, really need to focus on me and then he will fall into place. So um, kind of ironic for somebody who runs a company specifically for prison wives and family members, but maybe not because I need you guys to know that you need to focus on you. You need to focus on you to 100% become whole and happy and healthy and brilliant and gorgeous and talented and talented and fabulous and know that about yourself before you can um, be ready for him to come integrate back in your life and you guys make magic together. So I'm going to make magic with me. This is going to be the year dedicated to me. And I pray and I hope that this year he is awarded to come back and integrate back into my life. But I'm not 100% focused on that like I have been the past 10 years because I feel like I'm falling short that way. So there's my vision board. Needs a little bit of attention and help, but I needed, um, not that it needs help. I think it's adorable like this. I just think that things are like falling off and I don't know what I'm going to do. And maybe I'll like get these all together and laminate it. I'm not sure. I might get an extra board. We'll see. But I just wanted to use it as inspiration for you guys to um, maybe do your own and also like I was saying yesterday I feel kind of like questioning things and this got me into a good frame of mind and a spirit in a good frame of spirit that makes no sense but it made me feel good about moving into 2019 it made me feel confident and it made me feel like I can take on the world like it made me kind of think back on the past year and the way that I've set goals in the past and maybe set myself up for depression. And so this, I don't feel like that. I feel like I'm not, you know, that in the past I put like mansions and millions of dollars and I'm not saying not to put that on your vision board, but what I am saying is if you put it on there and don't believe that, that you can actually attain that, then you are setting yourself up for failure. You have to put things on there that you truly know you will able to believe and attain. So if I want this to be a million dollars, it can be a million dollars if I truly in my gut and in my soul and in my heart and in my brain and my mind believe that. But me personally, I'm not there yet. So I know that if I put that as a million dollars in 2020, I'll be making this vision board going, it didn't work. So I need to be, um, reach for the stars, but make sure I'm doing it in a way where I truly feel comfortable and confident putting that goal out there. So I hope that helps. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in the next one. But in the meantime, make sure you comment below. Let me know if you do vision boards. If you do, let me know what you put on them. And if you want, um, you can add your, um, vision boards on social media and tag me so I can see what you guys have on there. Tag at Strong Personals. Lots of love from my heart to yours. Bye, guys.